left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game. Now from City Field in Flushing, New York, we welcome you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, the second of four between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Rafael Montero, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, H? Well, he comes in with a whip under one. That means he's not getting a lot of traffic on the bases. And when you limit the traffic on the bases, the less runs you're going to give up. So that's why he's been effective and been able to keep his team in games. At the plate, Jeremy Hazelbaker. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, last game they just didn't play well. They gave up a lot of runs. It's really sloppy. So when you play that sloppy, you're not going to win games. Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury will bat next. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season. So perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. Nobody out runner on first. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third but he gets by the glove down the line. Well the second hitter hit the ball almost as hard as the first guy so that's back to back Batting hard third. contact for base Perfect hits. It looks like they came to swing it in this one. Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now and this is a good looking matchup for him here as you can see he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. He's set and the one two pitch and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning with that the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks thoughts Dan who stands out well you have really got to be able to appreciate the incredible talent of Paul Goldschmidt he had over 20 runs batted in last month very consistent a solid month and I love watching him swing the bat it looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. First and second now, one man out. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. A bullet to first base. Batting fifth. Now with the plate, gives money to Moss. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Two men are on with two men out. Hard on the ground towards short. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first, and the Diamondbacks are turned away as the inning is over. Diamondbacks strand a pair, and now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score.
Zach Grinke is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him H. Well he has got an excellent strikeout to walk ratio. He's dominating hitters. He doesn't walk guys He's around the plate and that number alone just tells me this stuff is dominating and hitters can't catch up to it. Let's watch him execute in this game. In now Gavin Cicchini he'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. From the windup the one one pitch. And that one stayed too low apparently. Now Harold you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well they won their game last night. I think that's a big sign. They're starting to play good baseball. I talked to the manager. He loves how they compete. And he's retired here one away. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows let's meet the Mets. Danny who stands out to you. Well Matt I can't wait to see if La Potencia Yoenis Cespedes can keep it going. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Fastball called strike one and two. Oh that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Line toward right center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Well the leadoff guy couldn't get on but the number two guy with that base hit gets on base. Now third. here comes the thunder right. the Taylor. meat of the order. This is what they want. So striding forward now Michael Conforto and as you can see he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. And he's keeping it down here and that's a cold strike two. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that. One and two here it comes and this is fouled at the plate. Look out that one almost got away from him two and two now pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone! A two run blast to straight away right field. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. This guy gets in the groove. He can hit him, and when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out, this guy's going to do some major damage. At the plate, Joanna Cespedes. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner and set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Summersgill's a little notorious for having a wide zone. Really frustrating for hitters. I saw one guy turn around at him one day and yell, is this a picnic table or is it a plate? Yeah, he was tossed before he finished the sentence. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he pops it up back behind second base. Ahmed is there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. 
batting fifth, third baseman. At the plate, Wilmer, Wilmer Flores, Flores, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Two out, nobody on. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 2-0 New York. Digging in, Gregor Blanco. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Liner towards second, but right to Cabrera, and that's the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. And the pitch on two and one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Faces are empty, one man out. And this is going to be a foul ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. Well, that ball was scorched. Now, I know it didn't hit the wall in the air, but it gets to the wall. He still made a good decision not to go to second, to go back to first base. I think had he continued on, he probably would have been out. Stepping in now, Nick Ahmed just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Ready with the one and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone, so I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Standing in now, Zach Grinky, and this is popped up back behind second. Cabrera into shallow center, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the bottom of the second. The Mets lead it two to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Rene Rivera is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Another 2-2 offering. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Well, let's take a look at the Diamondbacks' defense, brought to you by Majestic. And these guys can really defend. All you got to do is look at the air column. They're in the top five fewest airs in the league. They don't beat themselves very often. You're going to have to earn it to beat them. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Very weakly on the ground. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. Batting eight. 
Water. Here's Juan Lagares. Career line against Greinke. Not great. He's one for eight. He also has one home run. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Blanco is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Good work there by Zach Greinke. His club needs to get him some runs, however. It's two zip. Next will be the left handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. One for one after a single his first time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Oh, he definitely got away with a changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is it got him to pull it foul. Now you come back after him here with another pitch. Back-to-back -back change ups and he fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with a third one. i got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So a leadoff single will be the start the to their half of the third. Second baseman. Brandon Ready for another Drury. chance. Brendan Drury, a base hit in his first trip. Ready with the one and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. One away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in to try it again. Paul Goldschmidt. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here's the three and two. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. I always believe the best the hitters are the ones that can stay on the Third ball and use the whole field. Jake right there is a perfect Lamb. example. Ball away, he stays with it and shoots it the opposite direction. Into the box, Jake Lamb. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He'll try it again, three and two. Swing and a miss. A big strikeout, and he's one out away from working out of a jam. Boy, he's having a hard time just Hello, putting Cooper, the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Into the box now. Gives money to Moss. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Ready now, Rafael Montero, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One and one, here it comes. And that one right down Main Street. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's another one, too. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Ionetta has it. And he makes the throw to first. Montero is retired, and there's one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gavin Cicchini. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. Now here's the pitch. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. Ionetta gathers. And he makes the throw to first. Cicchini is retired. Two down now. Second baseman. Digging and in for his dribble. second at bat as Dribble Cabrera 
first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better. Now here's the pitch. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Watching him on the mound I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Tomas moves over. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They're up two to nothing. Riding in once again, Gregor Blanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 2 and 1 on its way. Now a flare out to left center. Cespedes comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number one. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm. Just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 is the top speeds. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Well that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. he wanted to spin the wind right there and knock one as far as he could. He got the off speed pitch inside and he pulled off of it. No runs five hits no errors so far for the Diamondbacks and that is swung on and missed he's down on strikes and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. He's looked great on the bump the, the first few innings 13. of this game and I think North his Scott. ability to change speeds effectively Palmer. has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off of their timing so far. In now Nick Ahmed. He swings and grounds it to short. Cicchini scoops it up. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So one two three go the Diamondbacks. They trail it here two to nothing. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Granky ready now, the 1-1. One, one. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Once again, a 3 2. And another foul ball. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit down the line at first. Fielded by Goldschmidt. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The left fielder number 52. stepping into the box. Joanna Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. And gone up into the second deck. A solo home run here off the bat of Ioannis Cespedes. 29 home runs for him on the year, and the Mets have taken a 3 to nothing lead. Well, there's an old saying that the harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. See you later. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. 
And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Now here's the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now batting. Catcher. So striding Rene in, Rene Rivera. Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Frankie gets the sign. 1 1 pitch on its way. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. A dive and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. We're through four. It's 3 nothing, New York. Into the box, Zach Grinky. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Fastball yeah. swung on and missed for the first down. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here now in the fifth as we check out the right lead fielder. leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Brandon Drury will bat next. He's one for two in the ball game. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. On its way is pitch number 75. Skied into straightaway right. Conforto has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Diamondbacks down in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Here's the one and two delivery. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Matt, I thought he might be in jeopardy of walking the guy here for the first time in this game. Went down 3-0, but he's come all the way back 3-2 now, and I think he'll just make the guy put it in play or put one on the corner. He's going that good. Pitcher number 50. Standing in, Rafael Montero. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And he pops up the bunt attempt. No problem over there for Goldschmidt, and there are two gone now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in once again, Gavin Cicchini. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. game. 
The 1 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Hazel Baker's under it, and the inning is over. Mets strand one, but they lead it 3 0. Ready once again, Paul Goldschmidt. A hit in two tries so far. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ligaris going back on it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The batter, third baseman. Jake Lamb standing in now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Ready on one and two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's Yasmani Tomas. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Another try at 2 2. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Conforto ranging forward. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. So 1 2 3 go the Diamondbacks. They trail it here 3 to nothing. Enrique Burgos enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 36, Enrique Virgo. Ready for another chance as Dribble Cabrera, one for two on his line so far in the game. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's three and one now. Michael Conforto will be next. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Takes a knee high fastball. Rip down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. That's a tremendous at bat. Saw a bunch of pitches. Right, saw builder, basically everything 30. he throws, and then got a base hit to right field. Can't write it any better. Michael Conforto will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. at first with no outs here. Runner, yes, yes. There goes Cabrera. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Cabrera is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. And Iannetta's tag is not going to be in time as the run comes in to score. Well, you just keep adding on. That's how you win games, and he's a big part of it right here. That's his third RBI, and they extend the lead in this ballgame. Into the box now, Joannis Cespedes. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here's the payoff pitch. Liner toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Conforto rounds the corner and is headed home. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. 
So the base hit there plates their second run of the inning and brings us to our league leaderboard in terms of RBIs. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. Digging in to try it again, Wilmer Flores. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. What's the saying? Uh, when you Not find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. None out. Runners at first and second. Hit hard on the ground to third. Oh, but it's thrown away at second. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Reynolds. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. Line to the right side. Hazel Baker has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. A tag, and he's out at the plate. A double play. Center fielder Here's Juan Lagares, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. 0-2, oh here it comes. Now this pitch is lined into left center field. That's a base hit. Long throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. I like the pitch. He goes to the slider. It's his out pitch. He just didn't the put it where he needed to. 50. It's just too hittable Rafael with two strikes. Montero. Ready for another shot now. Rafael Montero. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue in this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. One and two now. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right there. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Rivera rounds third and is digging for the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Two outs and the pitcher at the plate. More often than not, you're going to get out of the inning. But he was determined. Stayed with it and got the base hit. Not getting him today with two outs. In now, Gavin Cicchini, as he sends it on the ground to first. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And those are plays that cost you ball games. You're already losing, and then you make an error like that to compound things. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. Into the box as Drupal Cabrera. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Out of here. Into the visitors' bullpen. So a three run shot to right center field. 12 home runs for him now thus far as this lead got even wider. When you're all over the place location wise sometimes you're just happy to get the ball anywhere near the strike zone problem with that is one right there in the heart of the plate and he didn't miss it Ruby De La Rosa gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out he's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys.
standing in now, Michael Conforto. Fastball called strike, one and two. De La Rosa into his motion. Here's the one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. They have him played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Backhanded. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah, the side is retired. Big inning for them, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. Seventh inning coming up. The Mets are out on top, 11 to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Here's the lefty Gregor Blanco now. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. The catcher, number Here's eight. the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and a pop up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. Oh, that is too good a pitch to throw right there. Two strikes, a fastball right in his wheelhouse. He missed it. He probably won't get another one like that again. Ball two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. That's the mark of a good hitter. You have to make every at-bat count regardless of the, the batter, score. number 13, shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Stepping in now, Nick Ahmed. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. He's set. Here's the two two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. David Peralta will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Peralta. Swing and a line drive right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Randall Delgado enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit Randall right where it Delgado. is. Digging in and looking for more, Yoannis Cespedes. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that misses two and one. Two and one now to Cespedes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Third baseman number four. Digging in once Wilmer. again, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a fastball just a bit up. Here we go. 
hit hard on the ground is short. Ahmed has it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now batting. Striding in once again, Rene Rivera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Hard on the ground towards short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. So nothing happening this time around. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Mets out in front, 11 to nothing. Next will be the left-handed hitting Jeremy Hazelbaker. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Swing and a liner. But foul. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A-B, but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Hold high in the air out to right field. Conforto is there, one away. Now batting. Well, these fans baseman. have been traded to a fine Brandon outing out of their Drury. hometown starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. Brandon Drury will bat next. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Line drive to left. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Now batting. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Well, now here comes the Mets manager, Terry Collins, on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he was able to only get that first out in the eighth, but nonetheless, he'll depart with the lead. Josh Edgen comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Runners on first with one down. Now Goldschmidt, a drive. High in the air out to deep left field. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A changeup and then a fastball. He's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. So he sets him down now, swinging. Paul Goldschmidt is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Standing in, Jake Lamb. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Two out with the man at first. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up. But when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2 and 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2 2 one more time. Lifted the other way to left center. Cespedes is there. And that's the third out. One left for Arizona. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. At the plate, Matt Reynolds. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Yeah. 
The high fastball is in there. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came Center after an absolute missile of a fastball. Look, Even right. if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. In now, Juan Ligares. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. He'll try again, one, two. Curveball that time, not even close. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. He's been looking really good. Another hit, another multi-hit game. This hot streak has been really fun to watch him perform. Into the box now, Josh Edgen got it back in time there, and it's two and one. I'm no hitting expert, but you can't take a swing that's a whole lot more uglier than that one. He's set, and the two-one pitch. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. The second for one, on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We played eight full. It's the Mets 11, and the Diamondbacks nothing. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Here's Yasmani Tomas. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot here to left number 10 for him on the year but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Well they're not there yet but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here just need to string some good at bats together now. Into the box, Gregor Blanco, as he sends it on the ground to first. And a step on first for the out, three unassisted. The catcher, number eight. A reminder that coming up Frank after the ball Ayanetta. game tonight, we'll have full highlights of the game exclusively right here on the show. In now, Chris Ionetta. One run in and one gone so far this inning. One and one, here it comes. Slider up that he gets a call on. One out, nobody on. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's set. Here's the two two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Ready with another two two. This is in the air for Cespedes is in left. And that's out number two. Now batting. Digging in, Nick Amick. No Amic. hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And this is swung on and missed, so the Diamondbacks are down to their final strike now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. 
Hard hit ball to second. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, the discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that big sixth inning where they put everything together. They really broke out there and just brought it home after that. 11 to 1 at the end of this one. Rafael Montero gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. 11 runs, 10 hits, no errors. They left two men on base. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep, way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? Is eight, Texas five, and it's Davis's third home run tonight. There.